Blood Drive, page one. By the time the news of Bailey's accident spread through the rural settlement of Box Hill, there were several versions of how it happened. Someone from the construction company called his mother and reported that he had been injured when some scaffolding collapsed at a building site in downtown Memphis, that he was undergoing surgery, was stable, and was expected to survive. Well, I've tried everything else but poetry. <laughs> so I, uh, no, there are a lot of stories that, you know, pop up over the years that are not quite long enough to be novels. I'm always taking notes, um, always working with stories. Some work, some don't. Some just don't make it quite long enough. Uh, these, are, uh, th these are seven stories, but they're all pretty long for short stories. And over the years, the pages sort of piled up, and I thought, okay, let's finish them and see if we can get them published. I had a lot of fun uh, with most of them. Uh, most of them go back a number of years. Uh, of course, they're all from my neck of the woods, you know, Ford County, Mississippi, where, where I grew up. Um, yeah, they're a lot of fun. They're, they're fun because they're shorter, obviously, than a 500-page man manuscript. Uh, they're more manageable. They're easier to, to edit, to fix, to, to toss away if you have to. Um, but the process was a lot of fun, and I'm sure I'll do it again. The novels are, ve are very carefully outlined. I don't start a novel until I have uh, lived with the story for a while to the point of actually writing an outline. And after a number of books, I've learned that the more time I spend on the outline, the easier the book is to write. And if I cheat on the outline, I get in trouble with the book. It's that simple. Um, the short stories are a little bit different, because, but they're still the same in many ways. I haven't really mastered the short story form. I, I read a lot of short stories, and, and there's a lot of uh, different ways to go about it. All seven of these stories have a plot. I can't get away from plot. I can't write a story unless there's a definite plot, a beginning, a middle, and an end. And so in that respect, it was similar to writing uh, a, you know, a novel, uh, but a lot more enjoyable. Are they more personal? Um, only in that they're based, where they're from, the setting is more personal. Uh, when I wrote A Time to Kill, 20, when I published it 20 years ago, I deliberately created this fictional place in rural North Mississippi, pretty much where I lived, with the idea that I would go back to it many years for many stories. and. I thought initially I would write a book from Ford County, like A Time to Kill, and a legal thriller, like The Firm, go back and forth and back and forth, two different types of books. Uh, after the success of The Firm, though, uh, I realized that I should probably stick with the legal thrillers for, for a while, and I did. And so it was a long time before I went back to Ford County uh, with The Last Juror, a book that came out a few years ago. Uh, but th that didn't stop the stories from coming. Um, and I, again, took a lot of notes over the years, wrote a lot of sketches for stories that maybe initially were going to be novels. Um, that's, where my, um, that's where I really enjoy writing about. That's, 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 my, that's my place. That's where I want to go and end up one day writing just about Ford County. So in that, in that respect, it is more personal. The length of time it took for each story is, is they're all radically different. Uh, Blood Drive, the first story, uh, I took the first notes almost 20 years ago. And the story's been around. Uh, and the great thing about a short story, you can start it, you can finish it, and you can go back and revise it easily. You know, it's easy to go back and tinker with 20 pages as opposed to 600. And that's what I really enjoyed about the process was this c continual revision, new ideas, and being able to go back and just constantly rework these stories. The last story, uh, Funny Boy, uh, was written in a two-week period about two months ago. Uh, I had the story, I had the idea, uh, but I hadn't written it, and I knew that it would be the final of the seven stories. And it was written, you know, again, this year. So you've got a 20-year 
gap there in which these stories were always there in some uh, level of evolution, coming and going, revision, and some were discarded. Yeah, I, th I mean, I threw, a, I threw several away. Um, that's not unusual. It's, it's not always easy to, to discard something that you were at one point excited about and then didn't work or couldn't, couldn't make it work. Um, but that's part of the writing process.